Today's episode is about the fingerprint attendance which is also called a biometric attendance system. The students are marked present late and absent depending on the time. The attendance application will be designed in Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. Few days back I posted a tutorial on fingerprint module in which I covered all the basics including interfacing and how to enroll fingers. In that tutorial I already enrolled these three fingers so I'll be using the same fingers to represent student 1, student 2 and student 3. I recommend first you should watch this tutorial the link is given in the description. This is a very basic student's attendance system without a database. While in the upcoming tutorial, I will modify this project and include a database. Then each student record can be checked and deleted in real time. New records can be added, edited or deleted. In today's episode, we will cover the basic application designing and how to use timers to keep track of time. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one fingerprint module and number two Arduino. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The interfacing is already explained in my previous tutorial on fingerprint. The link is given in the description. Let's start the application designing. First of all, open the Microsoft Visual Basic 2010. Click on New Project. Make sure you select the Windows Form application and click OK. Select the form and change text to Biometric Students Attendance System. Now add 6 checkboxes. Select the checkbox 1 and set the name as CHK Teacher. Now select checkbox 2 and set the name as CHK Stu1. Repeat the same for the remaining 4 checkboxes. Now select the checkbox 1. Change text to teacher. Now select checkbox 2 and change text to student 1. Repeat the same steps for the remaining 4 checkboxes. Now click on the toolbox to add a text box. Select the text box and change it to multi-line. Its name is text box 1. Now again click on the toolbox and add 5 labels. Now select the first label and change text to elapsed time. Now let's change its font size.
Repeat the same steps for the remaining labels. Now let's add a serial port and three timers. I will bake after rearranging all of these components. I just rearranged all the components. Serial port 1 has the default settings. Timer 1 interval is set to 1000 and is set to true. Timer 2 interval is 2000 and is set to true. Timer 3 interval is 1000 and is set to false. So our basic application setup is completed. Now let's discuss the programming. First of all, let's start with the controller programming. This is the same program which I used in my previous tutorial on fingerprint module. I'm using the same pins 4 and 5. I just made a few changes. I commented these two lines as I don't want to send this information to the attendance application. 11, 2 and 3 are the finger IDs of thumb, forefinger and middle finger. Thumb finger represents student 1, forefinger represents student 2, while the middle finger represents student 3. A finger dot finger ID equals equals 11, then simply send stu1 to the attendance application and then there is a delay of 1 second is 1000 milliseconds or equal to 1 second. A finger dot finger ID equals equals 2 then simply send S2 to, to the attendance application and similarly for the student 3. Now let's discuss the visual basic programming. This is the application that we just designed. Double click on the form to open the programming. This is the complete coding of the biometric student's attendance system. This program can be downloaded from my blog page the link is given in the description. As this application will communicate with Arduino using the serial communication, so that's why we start by importing system.io and system.io.ports. Then we define two variables for storing the seconds and minutes. These two variables are of type integer. Then we define some variables of the type integer which will be used as flags for the teacher and students. These flags will be used to avoid the unnecessary repetition of code. We set all the flags to zero. This set of instructions is used for the serial port. My Arduino is installed on COM port 8. You can change this number if your Arduino board is installed on some other port. The baud rate is set to 9600. Make sure you use the same baud rate on the controller side. I have already explained these instructions in my previous tutorials on desktop application designing. Check my playlist on the desktop application designing. The timer 1 is used to check the text box 1 every second. This instruction means if the data which is received in text box 1 includes stu1 and the student flag 1 is 0 and teacher flag is 1 and minutes are less than or equal to 2 then simply check the box change the flag status to 1 and change the text to present and similarly for all the remaining students these instructions are used to check if the students are late if the student uh, mark his or her attendance between 2 and 5 minutes, then the student will be marked late. While these conditions are used to check if the students are absent, if minutes are greater than 5, then the students will be marked absent. Data received is a function which is used to receive data from the serial port and is stored in text box 1. 
Timer 2 is used to clear the text box 1 after every 2 seconds. And timer 3 is used for counting the seconds and minutes. The timer 3 is enabled only when the teacher mark himself present. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. Now let's watch this project in action. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.